So with the release of the Dokken Fest exclusive AGL Captain Ginyu, we have an updated version of the Planet Namek Saga category free-to-play team. Now, we're going to compare, well, really just look at whether or not Captain Ginyu is going to be the better leader for the free-to-play team, or is AGL Full Power Freezer still the one to choose? So let's go to the details of Captain Ginyu first before we do anything. Um, by the way, we are versing collection of epic battles here. So this is the Freezer boss. I needed to do the Planet Namek Saga mission, so I thought this would be a great time. And it shows like the strength because, you know, we have take damage reduction on the damage because uh, Freezer takes like only good damage against super type units, uh, which is a little bit extra challenging because Planet Namek Saga doesn't have, well, for the free to play, doesn't really have good super units. And um, yeah, this was the reason why I ran this stage specifically, just to get the mission done. Anyway, the Ginyu's leader skill is Terrifying Conquerors or Planet Namek Saga category, 170% and 3 key. And then he additionally leads 30% HP attack and defense if they are also in the Space Traveling Warriors. So he's essentially the first TUR to have a 200% leader. The first LR leader... Um, this was introduced with the uh, LR Year 7 units, the, being the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Now, Cap now Captain Ginyu has two... Now, Captain Ginyu has two forms. He's normal form and then he's Ginyu Goku form. And so we're going to talk about the normal Captain Ginyu first. So he raises defense at an infinite rate, meant damage to the enemy. Passive skill, attack and defense plus 180%, plus an additional attack plus 50% when performing a super attack. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% per Ginyu Force ally on the team, up to 50%. Ginyu Force category allies attack and defense plus 30%, attack effective against all types when there is another Ginyu Force category ally on the team. So he has a very good kit, he has support, he has a medium chance of performing a super attack with stacking defense, good and nice additional attacks, and additional, a nice little attack bonus as well, and type effectiveness. Now, with his transformation, all you have to do is get underneath 70% HP, starting from the fourth turn onwards, and then we get into Ginyu Goku, which instead of raising defense at an infinite rate, now raises attack at an infinite rate. So... The defense carries over, obviously, so he's actually going to be really tanky by the time you hit underneath 70% HP in four turns. And then once you transform, you get 59% HP back, which is a nice heal back, 200% attack and defense at the start of the turn, an additional attack plus 50% when performing a super attack, launches additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. So pretty much mostly the same there, just with, you know, high percentages. And then he gets an additional attack and defense and chance of performing a critical chance and a chance of evading an enemy's attack, including super attacks, plus 10% with each attack performed up to 50%. So, with 5 attacks, which is fairly easy to get, you're getting a 50% attack and defense, 50% chance to crit, and 50% chance to dodge. And remember, you've been stacking defense as well, making this guy almost practically invincible. Um, and then he's also, you know, raising attack infinitely, making him stronger, and those crits are just going to do so much. That's not all, though. He can foresee his enemy sewer attack. It's only a high chance, as long as you have Jace on the team. So that's his full kit right there. He's got the categories and the links. We won't go into de too much details. It's like Ginyu Force links, uh, categories, you know, Ginyu Force stuff, just with the uh, Crota body and mind. But, uh, yeah, that is pretty much Ginyu. He's... I would say one of the best TURs in the game. Like, absolutely insane. And after using him in this run here, I, like, man. This man hit, like, 600,000 defense by the end of this battle, which is absolutely insane. You remember, he has 50% chance to um, dodge, which means, like, even if he takes a super attack, like, you're not really dying anyway. Uh, and then I wish I could have transformed earlier with him because these attacks, that would be insane. But um, sometimes getting underneath 70% HP is pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. In these, like, easier events for sure. Although, not saying this event is easy. It's like the, the peak on the difficulty only changes at um, maybe, like, third form here. So, yeah. Speaking of third form, we are on third form. Freezer. So, uh, let's go through the team here. We have every single Ginyu Force EZA free-to-play unit except for the um, Tech Ginyu. Except for Tech Goldo. And uh, the Tech LR Ginyu Force. 
We are running the physical Ginyu Force here. I don't know why I decided to do that. Honestly, I did EZA him, so he has SA 22. He's only on the first step. I, I, I shouldn't have said I EZA'd him, but... Um, yeah, he only has the 120% Leo, which only makes him just, like, comparable to the um, Tech Ginyu Force already. But I think Tech Ginyu Force is actually better still, even after one step easy aid from the physical. I think physical Ginyu Force becomes a little just bad, just slightly better if you get to the second Awakening for the LR easy aid, because then you get the super attack mechanic, and that's where it starts to really shine. Um... And then obviously the passive destroys the tech in you force. Uh, it's just too expensive, so I could not get that done. Uh, but I was able to use the leader squad. I at least wanted to make one video with the physical Ginyu because I probably won't be able to showcase on the channel until like three months down the line. Like it's pretty expensive, so I only have like one hundred thousand ultimate clash memories left, and I need about like four hundred something k. So about two to three months, depending on if I beat Omega Shenron. But yeah, we're stacking defense, everything like that. Um, once you transform into Ginyu Goku, then Int Ginyu links really well with him. But right now, we can't link up with the Int Ginyu, which was my plan to do. Uh, but I don't think it worked out at all throughout this whole entire thing. And it doesn't even work out even nearly close once you get to AGL Freezer. Because uh, he starts locking and then your rotations don't even matter. You just rely on luck. We got the uh, first Doka mode here. This is actually quite a long battle. Uh, what can you do when you have... When the enemy has damage reduction against you. So... Yeah. The 50% the critical chance with the Ginyu is super, super nice. It just helps you out through this damage reduction stuff. So, yeah. Um, really good unit. One thing's for sure in this stage, Captain Ginyu is definitely better. Just because Frieza needs to verse Goku or at least a super unit to really do big damage. And then when you have this damage reduction, you really can't bypass it. Ginyu can because he's got that crit chance and he's always raising attack as well. So yeah, um, and he's of course the good links and everything like that. Makes him really, really nice. Sometimes, especially with this team, if you don't bring Int Frieza or STR Frieza, uh, Age of Final Form Frieza tends to lack on key. Really, it's really difficult. Like, uh, you really need those Freezer links activated. And since we're not running any Freezers, we can't run Int Freezer because, you know, we're not versing any Goku's family units, so we won't have guaranteed damage reduction. And, um, unfortunately, STR EZA Prime Battle Freezer is just outdated. Really outdated. I did make a tier list video, but I had to scrap it because there were so many new free-to-play cards coming out. So once all the free-to-play cards, like, starts to cool down a little bit, because, uh... You know, honestly, I thought the seven-year anniversary, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, that's that's it. The EZA is done, so, and I made the video, changed the tier list and everything like that, and then, um, came out. Can you force new EZA, Bardock Squad EZA, the new Juniors came out, and they potentially might EZA. So, yeah, <laughs> probably, like, when the, um, Saiyan Day comes out, because I probably won't even make it to Saiyan Day. <laughs> Because we have to wait until every single Bardock member is easy 8 and then we can do the tier list. So probably there'll be more uh, free-to-play cards coming out for Saiyan Day as well. So yeah, it's going to be pretty hectic, but I can't wait for you guys to see the tier list. I think, uh, um, you know, you see how big free-to-play has changed quite a bit. But a uh, little hint, Freeze is definitely not Z-tier anymore. He's very outdated. He just cannot stick around in the first slot anymore. Um... You know, sometimes he could, in Super Battle Road stages, he could potentially. But now it's just like a no-go with these, like, recent stages. So that means he doesn't get that much defense. He doesn't get, like, that uh, full six key if you um, don't have him in the first lot. So he can be pretty hard to get the 18 key and stuff like that. So, yeah. Finally get the uh, transformation. Unfortunately, I did it for the day. This was not my first try. This is a two-dupe friend. So it's time to stack the attack here. I would have liked to do it on the third phase, or the, even the second phase, because you actually don't need to stack that much defense with this guy. Uh, luckily, with Jace, we're able to seek super attacks. Obviously, you don't want Jace... After you transform, you don't want Jace on the same rotation, although he does support really nicely, um, because then you have the high chance to foresee uh, super attacks on this rotation, and then if Jace is on the other rotation, then you can foresee that. So you're always foreseeing somebody's super attack, which is great. 
Um, that's really the theory there. Ideally, the best rotation ever for this Ginyu Force would be Physical Ginyu if he's fully EZA, because then you have the support. Um, then you, uh, you, you know, you, sometimes you can have the uh, Physical Ginyu Force in the first slot to raise the attack and defense, and yeah, or vice versa. If you can't tank well, then Physical Ginyu in the middle slot is actually very great. But we have to deal with the, just the 120% leader and, like, the flat support. Uh, but, uh, I mean, he, he took normal attacks pretty well. I won't... I'll, I'll give him that. But he did have, like, support, so... This is a really good rotation here. We're always risking it. I didn't have many items. I had to use, like, items very early in this battle. I had to use one Android 8 on Ginyu, I think, and then one Android 8 um, early off on the... Freezer battle. I don't remember where. I think it was the second form Freezer. But yeah, two hundred percent leader for Cap for the Ginyu Force is actually very insane. And it, honestly, it doesn't even like stop at the Ginyu Force. Like pretty much like Freezer units get to two hundred percent leader skill. Pretty much the Ginyu Force is like the extreme version of what the LRs were trying to do as well, which is great. You know, didn't have to have always super love. Got some extreme love as well. But I don't think people are summoning too much on the Guinea Force. As hype as he might be, I feel like he's more hype for... The, maybe it's because I don't, I like, see the Japanese community too much. Like, the actual Japanese community. But, like, I, I think only the English-speaking JP players are more hype for Ginyu than actual JP players. <laughs> That's why I don't see much on the friends list. Like, I barely see anybody with one dupe. Although, you don't even need any dupes for this guy. But, I mean, trying to, like, complete, like, a hard event. I would love, like, dupes and stuff like that. So, it was very hard to find this two-dupe friend. And plus, his banner sucked. His banner was pretty trash. Other than, like, Kao and Khalifla. Tech. Kefla. I don't think anything else was, like, too exciting there. They used all the good cards on the 70th anniversary banner. Uh, anyway, we're about to beat the uh, final form freezer. Pretty good timing as well as we get to have um, a Ajo Ginyu on the first turn. What else is there to say? I mean, I think Ginyu Force, I would have to think it th thoroughly. They might have a really... Well, we have to wait actually as well, like after all these celebrations. We still got Worldwide, we still got uh, Saiyan Day... Uh, what else what else big celebrations are there there's the um goku day gohan day whatever it is uh <laughs> you know all those different celebrations that we um it's a good chance that the ginyu force i don't even remember where i put them probably like six or something they might be number two or three on guard they might be two or three with this ginyu yeah, um, it, it is It is really that good. It is really that good. It might not look good here, but like, as you see, a million critical, but you got to remember his damage, Dog Chen. This Freeze actually didn't have as much health as I thought he would as well. Actually, on the easier side. Yeah, so all I need to do is beat full power on this stage, which is absolutely impossible right now. Full power is absolutely trash. I think it, it might be possible. It might be possible. You just need... I, I feel like it's just no friend leader. That's what it is. There's no friend leader that really can, like, excel. Really, on um, this battle. With the, with the free-to-play units that we do have, of course. Um... I'm looking at it now, full power category. It's just, there is just nothing. You'd run like the version Z Goku, um, the uh, Roshi Krillin. Like, you can probably make a cool turtle school, but is that good enough? Is, uh, is, is turtle school that good? And maybe if there was a 170% turtle school that was in full power, that would be great. Or, like, uh, if the Kai King Goku, the STL one, actually had, like, a leader skill for version Z Goku. 
uh, that would be and and Krillin because I think Krillin's not in Final Trump. It's only Roshi that fits in under Kai Ken Goku's leader skill. That would help. Anyway, you got to use a Weezia. And then, um, got to get all those heal backs right there. Let's see the defense. 584,000, man. That's tanking anything. That is tanking anything. Is there, maybe, maybe like, maybe not like Ultimate Red Zone perfectly, but you're not dying. You, surely you're not dying. And yeah, 5 million attack stat. You're pretty much getting closer and closer to Freeze's attack stat. Because it's not, it's not entirely guaranteed that you always um, get the 12 key super with Freezer. Sometimes, you know, you can't put him in the first slot. Or sometimes you have to put him in the second slot. And you're halfway through. No super attacks again. I felt like I got pretty lucky in this run, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Trying to get as much heals as possible, and we even get the Doka mode with the Ginyu next turn, as long as Freezer does not lock us in. with the, the crazy super attacks. Bird is still great. Just saying. He's an amazing unit. And Jace, man. Like, kudos to him. He still... He tanks pretty well, I will say. He does tank. So, yeah, we got really lucky here. I think this is pretty much where it ends here. But yeah, I don't think I'll ever run... Unless I'm versing Goku specifically, I don't think I'm ever going to run Freezer anymore. Compared to Ginyu. I'd, I'd always choose Ginyu. Uh, I've seen, like, um, screenshots of people beating the God event with the Planet Dynamic Squad without Freezer and using um, Captain Ginyu instead. So it just goes to show. Like, free-to-play prefers Captain Ginyu. <laughs> the 200% leader is just too too good to pass up on. You know, it gives everyone, and if you and think about how much how much support as well is on the team. So it's like more like a, a two hundred and sixty percent leader skill because there's always a support on the rotation as well. <laughs> like if you have physical Ginyu and you have the um, Captain Ginyu, you're already getting sixty percent on the rotation, which is absolutely ins absurd. Although when you exchange, you lose that, but not exchange, but transform. Still, regardless. It's, and then you have Jace, which is also a support. It's like, what the heck is this team? If Tech Ginyu Force EZAs, oh my god. One day. Anyway, that's gonna wrap things up. That's the uh, Planet Namek Saga free to play team. We, uh, it's not the best one, I'd say. Like, you can, obviously, there's no real perfect Planet Namek Saga team. It just depends on what event you go up against, but you can just see the versatility on this team is great. Uh, that's going to wrap things up, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the daily content. Check out my social medias linked in the description. That said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.